Hi, in this video we're going through how to get gold in the GTA 5 heist, the Bureau Raid, using the rooftop approach. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old, grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series getting gold in every damn mission in GTA 5 as we look at the Grand Theft Auto Heist the Bureau Raid. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ring the bell to stay up to date. Getting gold in this one is pretty complex. It's fairly challenging, and I'll be honest, it took a few goes for me to get this right, especially considering Ricky Lukens is involved. Before you get started, I highly recommend you kit Michael and Franklin out with full armor, full health, grenades or sticky bombs, RPG ammunition, and machine gun ammunition. To get gold in this one, we'll need to land on top of the rooftop target, hack the system in under 45 seconds, avoid shooting innocents, kill 20 enemies with headshots, finish with an accuracy of 70%, and complete the mission in 19 minutes. So let's pick it up from Michael and Franklin heading out to meet Haynes' pilot. So we'll jump in the car, wait for Franklin, just hold the accelerator there just to try and get the best start possible. Hang a right and then follow the GPS to the first waypoint, so which is near uh, what looks to be an FIB field office. And as we pull up to the field office, head up the road and swing around to the left here, through the gate, up to the end and then hang another left. And we want to more or less drive into the fence on the right hand side there. That'll trigger the gate straight through and then off to the left straight into the marker and start smashing the button to skip that cutscene. There we go. So Michael's had a quick change and he will be the pilot to run over, jump in and fire up the chopper as soon as you can. You just want to rotate a little bit and what we want to do is try and find a balance between gaining altitude and going forward a bit. As we go into cinematic mode that's what we're aiming for. So I'm not going too hard forward so that we don't end up scrubbing too much altitude while we're moving forward but I'm also not just hovering. So just leaning forward on the stick on the controller or just tapping forward if you're on a keyboard. So getting close to the marker now, we'll swap to a quick cutscene. There we go, and uh, we can skip that one. And controls top left, just dive out. We want to dive for a good three or four count and then pull the chute. And you can see there, we're heading for the little yellow marker on top of the FIB building. The Rockstar have given us a pretty generous target here, but it is also easy to miss if you've not been practicing with the chute. So give it a crack. You might take a one or two shots to get this right. So use the controls top left to slow yourself down. And we want to land preferably on the right hand side of the pyramid there if you can, but still make sure that you are inside the circle. There we go, look at that. Skip the cutscene again. And head over to the door there, so just lob a grenade over and that'll open the door up real quick. There we go. And then head straight through and to the right. There's the terminal, and we've got the hacking minigame there, so go straight to my computer, then the external and the hacking thing. So we're just going to pause here. Now this hacking minigame with Ricky Lukens is a little bit challenging because honestly, he's not very good at his job. So what we want to do is find the IP address for the host, and the easiest way to do this I've found is just look for the first number on your sequence, and then after that, look for the second number. So we'll start just by sort of scanning through and looking for all of the 93s. 
and then once that's done you need to zoom in on those 93s and see if you can find one in this case with the 37 at the end of it the numbers will be different every single round but that's the what the technique that i use and that works relatively well to get this through so we can see there there's the 93 there's the 37 we'll resume gameplay and you can see it does take me a few seconds to find it but that's the technique i was using and i found that to be most effective so you can see that's just ticking along there and there it is done so the next mini game after we click brute force we simply have to hit the button whenever we get close to the highlighted uh, letter there we go that's done so the next one will pop up and then just hit the next icon there double click real quick and that was very very fast but we're on a timeline skip the cutscene and then we are ready to hold off any fib agents that come through the door now remember we do have to keep that accuracy up and we have to get those headshots so i'm using a rifle here uh sorry i think i'm using a heavy machine gun and really really make use of michael's ability so use your mini map to see where everyone is and really keep an eye on that and that'll give you a clue as to what's happening and really really make use of michael's ability there to make sure that you have really good accuracy listen to your audio cues as well you'll hear someone start yelling they're on the roof and see bullets coming down from the left and when you see that we'll need to swap to something else i think uh, an rpg might be the go and shoot up the top there too just take out the last of these guys down here wait for some more to come through and we'll ping them excellent and rpg and we want to aim up to the top left right there hang on we'll just quickly take care of a couple of these guys first Ooh, nearly got him we have some smoke now the trick here is to just keep an eye on your reticule to see if you can ping anyone through the smoke it will turn red if you have a shot right as the smoke clears take care of the last of them get the ones closer to your boys first otherwise they could get a plum shot in and kill franklin or your sidekick Back to the RPG. Oh, no. Some more people coming through. And skip the cutscene. And through we go again. Didn't even need to worry about the RPG this time. So head through. There'll be someone that pops out here. We just want to drop him. There we go. Quicker is better. And again, on the mini map, you can see there, there's someone behind there. So just be prepared to take them out straight away. Wait for the door to be cleared and then head downstairs we can hear him talking on the other side there so as soon as that's cleared there we go and then around to the left through here and take some cover now we can use michael's ability here to highlight where people are i also like to lob just a quick grenade in and that takes care of a couple of them too right back to the rifle Oh no, oh, I'll chuck another grenade. No, back to the rifle. There we go. Take out any that are remaining. And again, keep an eye on that reticle when visibility is low as well. That gives you a really good clue as to whether you've got a shot. Through we go. Around to the left again, and we'll have a few more to encounter here. Uh, we'll skip this cutscene. One in the center, one off to the left. That's those taken care of down the hall and then around to the right. Do not shoot these guys. All right, so we'll take out one and two. Around to the left again, and there's probably someone waiting here. There we are. Oh, he's still there. No, he's dead. Get me sorted. Grab some cover. And we'll just wait until we've got a shot. 
Nope, no shop. All right, through we go. So one and two again. And I think we're just about clear. There we go. Sort him out. See if there's any more down there. Yep, there we go. On the right hand side and might be one down the hall as well. Yep, there he is. Ah, one of our sidekicks took care of him. Through and then onto the next yellow marker. And then off to the left again once we're through that door. Again, using the reticule because visibility is really low. You just wait for it to go red as you mouse over something or as you, you point to something and that gives you a really good clue as to whether or not you've got a proper shot. On to the abseiling. So controls are up the top left there. Just hold down the button that gives you the longest jump and slide all the way down as quickly as possible. Once you're out, there will be a helicopter coming around. So just take some cover if you can and try and take out the pilot as quickly as possible. That's them sorted. And then head for the next marker, which is just here on the right. So that'll get us to the next spot. So we'll skip the cutscene if we can. And abseil down again. Slide down to the ground and watch out for these guys so we have one here sneaking around on the left and a few downstairs there we go making use of michael's ability as much as possible and there's probably a couple down here here we go there we go i think yep he's dead downstairs off to the right and then jump down the uh, the stairs if you can to gain an extra couple of seconds and into the ambulance. So this is our first mission with Taliana and she is absolutely fantastic as a driver. Right, so she's off. And then we just need to follow the marker all the way back to Franklin's place. There's a little bit of exposition here and our uh, junior gunman gets a little bit skittish but he does keep his composure and Michael gets his attitude checked again. And we'll make our way up the hill very, very slowly because the ambulance hasn't got a whole lot of power. Pull up at the marker, jump out, and then head into Franklin's place. Skip the cutscene, and job's done. Great, so that's no innocence, 20 out of 20 headshots, 80% accuracy, so 10% above the required amount. Got the perfect drop. Got the hacker in 39 seconds, so six seconds to spare, and absolutely stormed it in with the mission time with almost five minutes to spare. Pretty happy with that effort. So, what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers, or could this have been done differently? Leave your comment down below. And check out the video on the left for the next storyline mission, or the one on the right for some more old grumpy gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.